Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey Fly Tying video production once again on a wet and windy day. Here I'm going to be sharing my favourite flies and methods of tying them to make catching fish better for the anglers around the world and also making tying these flies easier with my styles and techniques. All the flies I tie that I personally use and they're there to catch fish not just the angler and at the end of each of the videos I'm going to have a wee list of materials required to tie the fly just in case you missed it during the video. And also a link to my online shop where you can purchase the flies and the materials to tie the flies. I hope you enjoy the videos and I hope you, you'll pass on the word to your fishing buddies. Get them to have a look at the channel. They can subscribe. They don't need to. If they don't want to. Uh, so today I'm just going to tie a simple uh, soldier palmer. Right. There's different variations. This one's slightly different to the normal one. Uh, that we're not using wool uh, for the body or for the tail, but it's just it's the exact same. I mean, it, it's one of the best top dropper patterns out there when you're you're fishing for rainbows and wild browns. So I've got a fully mill heavyweight champ in the vice, right? Barbless. Pente, very rarely my time flies that are barbed now. Most of them are all barbless. I'm going to be using some glow bright number. Four floss, which is a, a, the orangey scarlet, the red one. We're going to be using some uni wire or Venryard similar. I, I, I actually stock the Venryard stuff as well, which is pretty good. Uh, there's nothing wrong there. It's just that I'm using these spools up, and then I'll move on to Venryard stuff. But this is a, the uni wire small gold. Right. Uh, we need a red game hackle. So we've got a red game hackle that's going to be about the right size for that hook. So obviously I, I would check it with a hook, see see that I'm happy with it. And um, for the body, I'm going to be using some blood red seals for that I dyed personally. I actually had a conversation the other day with a guy about seals for. He was having issues getting the seals for on on the, the thread, and that was even when he was waxing it and he was using sticky wax. It's probably the fact that he's got mature seals for, which is kind of a lot bigger and wirier. Uh, and it's it's much much harder to, to, to dub onto a thread so I've not got that much of this stuff left I've mm, get, got enough but I've not got that much but it, it's a, the proper stuff it's really really soft and I says I've dyed it and, and I, I, I love using it but there is alternatives out there so we're going to use the, the wisp thread black you could give it a hot head if you want but I'm just going to tie just a black one black headed one. So get the thread started. I'll wind it down. This was a favourite on Loch Leaven as well. When you're pulling it through the waves. So what we want to do is get a length of glow bright floss. Now it's really really up to you. Same again, it's up to yourself. That's one fold. Two folds. Three folds, now that would be not bad, that would be a good wee tail, but I like it a bit bushier, so I'm going to go with four. So I, I folded it, that one piece four times. Obviously you've got to make sure you can cut it, and then we're going to catch it in. So four times it's been folded. Obviously I'm going to cut a longer length if I'm tying more than one fly at a time, so I can, you know, you just trim it. So we'll trim that there. And that will give us our tail. So that's how it's got our tail. Right. Now you can brush that out if you want, but I prefer to let the fish's teeth do that. At this point I'm going to put in the gold wire. And just catch that in. Because I'm wanting the body to be kind of uniform. I'm not wanting any lumps or bumps on it. I'm going to go forward now. Right. And then we'll go back. Now I know some people do the hackle from back to front. I always go front to back, and I never have any issues. You know, my flies don't fall apart, uh, and they work pretty fine. So now we're going to wax the thread again. Remember, this is a 14 0 thread, and it is quite strong. So do that. Then I'm going to get some seals for, and we're just going to dub it on. Okay. 
get it on there. Right, then we'll start winding. So I want to push it down. I always want to, you've got to keep using this left hand. The left hand is important in fly tying, or your right hand, depending on what you tie with. But I'm obviously right handed, so I, I use my left hand quite a lot. Right, then a bit more wax. You can see our body is just looking great. And because it, it's proper seals for, uh, it does dub on really well. So I'll keep going. Keep going. Right, I'm quite happy with that. That's decent. We could keep going forward, but I'm going to put two tons of hackle. So I've stripped the flue off the hackle and I'm just going to catch it in. Right, then I'm going to make sure before I trim the stock that it is going to bend round because you want it going that way. Right, so sometimes the stock. And it just broke. That shows you how strong this thread actually is for a 14 oh That it's cutting through a hackle stem. Right, so we'll catch that back in. Right, so. So yes, you can use your hackle pliers if you want. I like to use my fingers unless the hackle's not playing ball. And it's, you know, it's kind of too short if you know what I mean or too neat and then all I do is use my thumb to catch that last piece in and then I says it's all about using your fingers and then catch that last one in and all we're going to do is catch it in with the wire and just feed it I'm always pushing the wire so it's pushing the hackle fibers out the way all right and we go back through and then pull the hackle fibers forward and catch the wire in. It really is simple. There's no point in complicating things. Now you could be fancy and maybe put a different coloured hackle at the front or but then it's not really a soldier palmer, is it? You could put a muddler head on it. I do like them a muddler head. First time I fished Lang Brennig uh, in Wales for the very first time Scotland entered the youth championships. There was me and a, another youngster in the team uh, who's still competing for Scotland and doing really well, he's a really good angler, Mr Peter Octoloni. Uh, we we were catching fish on this on the top dropper but it was a muddler version and it was fantastic. So just double whip finish as always, trim it off. You know, and just it doesn't really bother me if any of the fibres are pointing in the wrong direction to, to a certain extent. You want it kind of bushy. I mean, if you were wanting to use it in a really big wave in an Irish lock, you'd probably put another hackle at the front. So we'll just give that a wee coat of varnish. Once again, as always, always a, a piece of wire or a piece of something that fits through the eye that's going to allow me to clean it. Because I know it doesn't take long in a competition, but when you're fishing in a competition and you're trying to get the eye, you know, get the nylon through the eye of the hook, and it's it's varnished over, even though it only takes you a few seconds to clear it, it can be really frustrating. So there you go, soldier Palmer tied with proper seals for blood red seals for with a, a glow bright tail. Uh, it says you can tie it with wool, but you know I prefer to to get the right wool. It's quite difficult. I do have some of it, but I tend to just tie it with the globe right now. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it's cheering you up a little bit, and you'll pass the word about, about my channel and get your mates to subscribe. So follow me on Facebook if you want, David C. Downey, Instagram, Dave Downey Fly Fishing, Guiding Sites, DaveDowneyFishing.com, and the online store is www.fly-fishingworld.com. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching another Dave Downey Fly Tying video production. Have a great day and get tying. Bye for now.